I'm Eddie Field with Field Guided DIY. This weekend, we're gonna be installing and mounting these wall cabinets in the laundry room. But in order to do that, we have to find the studs. Hey, honey, where's the stud finder? I know, she is the stud finder. So, how do you use a stud finder? Great question, let's dive in. As you're using your stud finder, you're looking for a stud, which is a two by four, which is not really two, but it's an inch and a half thick. Huh? About the thickness of the grip of this stud finder. The first step you need to do is you need to calibrate by looking for a place where there is not a stud. Once you have that calibration, then you can move along the wall looking for that stud. What you need to do, you need to pay careful attention to the thickness of what you're finding. The stud finder may pick up other things in the wall, like a water line or electric line that are considerably thinner than a stud. You want to avoid things like water lines or electric when driving your screw or your nail. What else you may find is not one, but maybe even two or three. These are called load bearing studs. These are okay to anchor into. So don't be confused if your stud finder finds something really thick. Then mark your stud and drill and screw away. Now another thing to keep in mind is most studs are gonna be 16 inches on center. So once you find one stud, and you're not sure where the other one is, measure about 16 inches away. That's why tape measures have a red mark every 16 inches. Do you need help with some other project or product? Be sure to leave your question in the comments below. For more home improvement tips like this one, click the image on your screen now.